In life, there are many people that are facing homelessness today. It is a topic that many people are concerned with. You see, in a time of, well, pandemic or epidemic, there's the reality that many companies, many organizations, many states are shutting down the processes of companies. You see, we still need to have companies that feed us. We still need to have companies that clothe us. But the truth is, at the present moment, in America, we need no more things made right now. We have plenty of things in our current market and aftermarket goods area to take care of us. At the present time, there's plenty of food in grocery stores and other types of box stores that we can eat and be okay with. The safest food today at the present moment for any American citizen and any visitor is actually canned food. It's true that vegetables in a can are not the most appetizing for people who are accustomed to fresh food and fresh vegetables, or what my mother used to call fresh fo frozen vegetables. But the reality is we even still have plenty of those. The truth is that people do enjoy going out in the evenings and eating a meal outdoors. But what they should be considering doing is going home with their dollar bills, not necessarily not restoring the small business owner, but being very careful with their money. Because we have to have money for the rainy day. We have to have money for our retirement. And many people have nothing but inheritance to receive or to learn how to pay against. Now, I'm not going to make a lot of rhymes today because I don't have a lot of time today is not true. But what I feel is that people must really look at their jobs, their careers, their professions, their industry standards, and their benchmarks that gives us the best in the world. You see, America is kind of known for being the best in the world, which is why many people's countries, people's children who are wayward and can't cut it in their own nation are brought here, sent here, and paid to be here by their affluent and influential parents. You see, impoverished children come over through scholarship. Affluent children come over on the parents' money. But it's amazing to me how many children will walk by a homeless person, someone who's truly homeless, someone who's truly in struggle, someone who's truly trying to move their life forward, and they'll ignore them completely. Then there's a handful of children who want to play a game against a homeless person that they choose out of the lot. And how they choose this is based on physical size, based on proximity to their lives, or based on the fact that that homeless person is not a panhandler at all. You see, a panhandler is someone that's simple. They understand what they are. They sit with a cup. But a homeless person that doesn't sit with a cup, that doesn't give them that clarification of who they are and what they do, they feel offended by. Isn't that foolish? That a displaced executive has less value to a community than a panhandler that uses a cup. Now, I want to be perfectly clear. I know some very good people who choose for their profession panhandling. And what I mean by that is they have a good heart, they've got a good soul, they've got a good spirit in general when they're not feeling selfish about me or about the community that serves their purposes. You see, they're really no different than a business on the street. A sideline gig that someone might have to add extra money for their family. They are no different at all than an entrepreneur. They just do a different way of gathering their money. It is true that some of the things they do actually produce income for their vices, their codependencies, their alcohol, their drugs, their need for power, or their addiction to will or will they not support me today. Am I good enough in God's house to get some coins today? The reality is that many of them know the science and art of their industry. They know what time is good to be out on the street. They know what t days it should be there. They know when it's time to leave if a police goes by there. And openly, they also get told off by a good plenty of young people, who some of them are smart and savvy about why they need to get rid of that art form, but at the same time, some of them are not because they still support the panhandler that solicits the shit out of them walking up and down the street. It's really the walkers and stalkers that need to be removed by police because they are pursuing people when they're standing at bank accounts in front of a cash outlay teller or what you call these um, <clears throat> automated systems. And they are literally pretending to not know how those systems work. And what we have are 11, 12, and 15-year-old black children relearning that skill.
we have grandmothers who are in struggle handling a grandchild because of a wayward child who's not doing their job but those women are walking through the streets walking up to cars and asking for help you see it's those folk that needs to go into our community systems it's those folks that need to have a question of whether or not they are abusing those children because what they're doing is they're perpetuating a lie and the lie is that other people are responsible for their jobs you see, it's a very different act of sitting on the street corner, giving yourself a business presence versus someone walking down the street harassing you for your coins. There's also boys out at the mall who lie, steal, and cheat people out of their property. They are the fools of the community because what they're actually doing is hacking your cell phones, pretending to be panhandlers. There's plenty of those like Juju at the mall. He is a young man in his late 20s, early 30s who looks fairly clean and shaven because he's found a way to get himself into an apartment complex without paying. I've seen plenty of people doing that today, walking in out of doors, unlocking doors, and even down the way where there's an electronic system, the young blacks bang the door above the electronics and it opens the door. It's amazing to me that the local police do nothing at all about this. It's also impossible for me to get them to understand that my property bags are like my home. So when you put your fucking hands into my home, I'm going to be upset like any other homeowner. But what's amazing to me is the lies that people tell themselves. That I've been working for more than a year to get help on a particular issue that takes care of the liars in the force. But foolish siblings think they're somehow in charge of my life, of which they're not. And they've stolen and cheated me out of property, out of relationships, and out of the most important love of my life. When the Lord calls them home, they will be accountable for their foolishness.